What's going on everybody? Come back. It's fire up day for what's in this bag. What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid 10 Outdoors. How is my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video finds you well. Okay, so like I said today's fire up day for what's in this bag. Um, last year I had the Outland Fire Bowl that I was taking with me in the truck everywhere I went um, for those campfires that I have at night, which I really needed it one time, the other time it's more for ambiance than anything, but I'm trying to downsize the footprint of everything that's in my truck to get more of the gear in the back of the truck and food and stuff stay in the cab of the truck. So to do that, I'm already downsized the cooking stuff that I use with the front runner uh, Wolfpack box and using all collapsible stuff, which I have tried before and it works. Uh, went with the Gazelle tent because it is a smaller bag, a smaller footprint to go in the back of the truck. That fire bowl was huge. Yes, I have a 20 pound cylinder in the back of the truck that I'll take with me camping, but I can use that for multiple things if I want to. Uh, I can actually set it up to where I could cook with it if I wanted to. I could actually set it up where it's just for this. I could run lanterns off of it, whatever. So it has multi purposes to have that 20 pound cylinder in there. But I wanted my, I know there's an argument there between firewood and using propane tanks out in the world. But if they throw down a uh, non burn situation, I can still use what's in this bag anytime because it's a controllable flame. I can control the flame. I can turn the flame off. Voila. You can't do that with a wood fire. Um, you're kind of SOL if there's a fire ban. You don't have any, any kind of heat for the night. But with this, I can. So you may be asking, well, what's in this bag? Well, I'm going to get you a little closer and we're going to take a look at everything together. All right, so the bag I'm using is actually a bag I had. That's why I did not buy theirs. Uh, they do offer a bag, but we're going to get into this and I'm going to show you what I got. So I, like I said, I had the bag floating around. So what I have is Fire Anytime's Lava Box. It is a actual military style 50 caliber ammo can that they have modified to make a fire pit. Um, what you get, well, what I got was the naked. Otherwise, this is not painted. It's going to patina on itself, and it's actually starting to a little bit. I don't know if you can see the rust starting to come on it. But once we fire it up, it's going to change colors too. Now, what you can do, you can buy the one that's already green, or you can buy the one that I did, which is like this. Once it patinas the way I want it, I can take some high temp clear and clear it so that way it stops the patina and you get what you get. Um, now what they have done on the outside is they've got a little, their little logo stuck on it. And then they cut the logo into the actual hasp there or the latch. Um, then on the other side is the actual hose hookup for this. They put a cap on it so it doesn't get debris and stuff in it. Um, and it's covered and protected so it doesn't mess up the threads. Now the wife will not let me fire this up in the house, which is just, just brood. So we will take it out back here in a few minutes and we'll fire it up out back. But you pull the lid on it, slide the lid off. Then down inside of it, you have a single burner. Here, let me move these rocks out of the way. These stones, they, uh, they're like perfectly rounded and polished like. Sorry, it's a lot of noise. But I'll show you this inside. So here's their single burner. And if you can see that yellow dot, that is where you're supposed to light it. And the burner actually goes in a U shape right here. 
and you have this grate that the rocks sit on top of. These are your traditional, well, I say traditional lava rocks. They're actually very smooth, and um, I don't know, it's almost like they were purposely done for them. But uh, you just put your lava rocks in it, and what I try to do is keep the yellow spot clear where I can see it. Because this does not have um, an igniter of any kind, you do have to use a lighter or a match to light it, which no big deal, and I keep both in the truck. Let's see, I see the yellow thing. You also get the hose. You get a hose with it has a vial on this end of it that you can turn to adjust your flame. Now, I don't know what the minimum heat coming off of this thing is, but you can rack this thing up to 220,000 BTU, which will go through a tank pretty quick if you sit there on high very long. But we're not going to do that. I want just just the perfect amount of heat coming off of it. I can sit this inside of a fire pit at the campgrounds if I want to. I can sit it wherever I want to. Now, they offer a stand, but I, I went on Amazon and bought this little stand for like 20 bucks. Maybe. Maybe a little less. But I can sit that right there and put that on top. And then it's got a little stand to sit on. You can cook on top of this if you want to. I've seen videos where people have done that, where they put their pot just right on top and start cooking. Uh, the stand they offer, you can cook off of it too. If you wanted to, you could actually put this one over top if you wanted to grill a steak or something, and you would have that right there. But now, keep in mind, this thing's going to burn pretty quick. Um, but anyway... There it is. That's what I'm going to be using. It's a much smaller footprint in the truck, um, in in person, actually. I mean, on the campgrounds, it's a much smaller footprint. It's going to be up off the ground, so it will not be burning any kind of ground. Um, don't have to worry about that. So that's about it for the indoor portion portion of this video. We're going to go outside, out back. We're going to set this thing up. And we'll get the tank out of the truck. We're going to light her up and. Uh, you see, I've got the lava box hooked up to the propane tank sitting right there. And then we've got it all set up to light. So I'm going to go over there and we're going to light this sucker up. And I'm going to show you the difference between the small flame and, well, you just napalm to the campground. Okay, now you see it's burning and it's very low for right now. So I'm going to crank her up to napalm level. Of course, I'm having trouble with the wind, the way it's blowing. <laughs> I picked the windiest day in the world to fire this thing up, so. Anyway, that, uh, there it is. I can, we can tame it down to right there. Just a nice, gentle flame. Or you can get that. Well, that's all I we'll need camping is that right there and I mean I can feel the heat coming off that thing pretty good and of course it's 50, almost 60 degrees outside but that wind is uh, is rocking so a couple things I want to throw out there before I close out the video one they do give you a little wrench to tighten the hose on to the connector here of the fire can itself so I keep that in that little bag with um, the hose and of course the fire can cell and the stand that I bought. Like I said, I didn't pay much for this stand, cheap, but it's just right for it to sit on and to elevate off the ground. Second thing, make sure it cools down real good before you put the lid on it, before you start moving it, messing with it. If you're tearing down camp and you're done, just let it sit and cool off, make it the last thing you load in your truck or Jeep, whatever. Um, but it's still it's warm but it's not too hot that i can't touch the thing 
but I want it to cool down 100% before I put it back in its bag. Um, the other notable I want to throw out there, this is going to be hot too because it's part of the can. So be darn careful when you go to take off the gas. Just let it cool down while you're taking down the rest of camp and then take everything apart and you'll be fine. Um, you know, it's a simple thing and um, fire anytime lava box. I like this thing. I mean, the heat it was putting off out there was great. <laughs> so anyways, just want to throw those caveats out there. Make sure it cools down real good before you touch it, before you load it up in your vehicle, um, because that could end badly. Um, and it does come with a little wrench to tighten your hose down because you want your hose tight on this end so that way gas is not escaping. Um, I will say that this nozzle, this knob, is very sensitive and um, took a little work to figure it out, but you can go from uh, moderate fire to napalm in the campgrounds like that. So, all right guys, let's go back towards the end. But there it is. It's a lava box by Fire Anytime. I'll leave links down below where you can purchase one because they are not on Amazon. But uh, that's it. I appreciate you watching. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we'll be using this thing. It's <laughs> coming soon. Uh, not a hurricane force winds near you be prepared see you on the next one